Well, those are the odds in the States. These are the uh, odds in Britain. Oscar De La Hoya, 11 to 4 on. Manny Pacquiao, 15 to 8. You can get 20 to 1 on the draw. Are those odds a little bit closer than you thought, Glenn? You know, when the, when the fight was first matched, I thought, you know, it, it, it's crazy. There's a big weight division. The more, the closer the fights come, the, the more you weigh up the odds, you know. And De La Hoya is isn't what he was. He's having to make 147 the welterweight limit for the first time in seven years. Now that's going to be an almighty struggle. Pacquiao, he can eat what he wants. He's going to be comfortable. This fight is going to be, it's going to be a close fight. Do you see it as, as speed against size? Well, I think that's, what, that's the obvious comparison, isn't it? Because De La Hoya, you see him as, as a much bigger man, but you've got the, the youthfulness, you've got the, the vigor, and you've got the aggression of Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, he's got nothing to lose. He's going in there to capture everything, and all the pressure is on Oscar De La Hoya. Do you think Oscar De La Hoya has had weight issues, though? Because they said uh, he's been on weight for two weeks. That can't be the case, can no, it? No, of course it couldn't. He hasn't made weight for seven. He hasn't made well weight for seven years. He couldn't have been there for two weeks. No, I think he he will have struggled with this weight. Surprisingly, he didn't seem very confident there, did he? He seemed a little bit pensive the way he was talking. He surrounded himself with tough guys as well, which is an, unusual for Oscar. He seems like he needs a lot more help around him these days. Stamina going to be an issue? It could be. Oscar's 35 now. If he's pushed in a hard fight against somebody who's thrown punches, that could tell. All right. Saturday night is Judgment Night. Well, some of the biggest names in British boxing have successfully rebuilt their careers after major setbacks. Can Amir Khan learn from his mistakes and return stronger and more ring-wise? Here's Adam Smith. Amir Khan is a terrific talent and at only 21 can surely come back as British boxing history tells us. Nigel Benn was stopped by Michael Watson, but went on to enjoy great success. Frank Bruno didn't give up until he finally became world heavyweight champion. Even Lennox Lewis had to exact revenge after suffering two humiliating knockout defeats. More recently, David Hay has proved fighters can bounce back from an early stoppage defeat. A lot of people say he's not going to be the same fighter again, but I really think it's, it's made me a better fighter. You know, that defeat has made me a lot stronger and a lot wiser in the boxing game. So I'm just going to go in there and just prove these people wrong. Khan's desperate to re-establish himself and quickly. Following his first loss in 19 fights, Khan's been incredibly dedicated. His training days out in the States started at dawn and he's pushed his body to the limit. I enjoy it, you know, something different, getting up five in the morning every day, you can't slack off. I've got on with what I have to do, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a fighter, I've come to train here, and yeah, it's going really well, you know, I love it. Every time I walk into a gym, there's a good up boxing atmosphere. Khan's been rebuilding under expert trainer Freddie Roach and his conditioner Alex Ariza. The new team have strengthened the Khan legs and introduced different methods. It's a ballistic high-intensity training. It's to focus on explosiveness, strength, conditioning, strong, strong, strong legs. Even when you're rocked, if you got good, strong legs, they'll still be under you. We're going to do it my way, um, and I, th I think we're going to do well. Khan's dazzled us with his speed and array of skills. Time now to return and reinstall belief that he does have the ability to go all the way. I want the success more than anything, you know, I, I can, I'll stop anything for to become a world champion and to become the best in my division and this is what I want and I'm going to fight for it. The pressure really is on Amir Khan, isn't it, Glenn? It certainly is, you know, it's, it's a very tough road back and, and I know I was written off at 20 myself and went on to win a world title. It's going to be tough for Khan, but he shows all the qualities that you need, you know, he's... He, He's picked himself up, he's brushed himself down, he's went out there and he's done everything that's asked of him. And, you know, I think he's got the personality and the capabilities to do it. And I think, you know, the headlines will read, yes, he can. You, you have to admire what he's done as well, changing everything. Oh, it's, it's, it's huge, you know, for, for a young man to just pick up his whole life and do what he's done, it, it, it's really big and I think he can do it. All right, my thanks to uh, Glenn. He'll be back with us on Saturday night. The final instalment of De La Hoya Pacquiao 24-7, our Access All Areas documentary, is on Friday at 6.30 on Sky Sports 1. We'll have news from the Las Vegas Wayne on Friday fight night. Top of the bill this week, Colin Lyons faces unbeaten ambitious Paul McCloskey for the vacant British light welterweight title. That's at the later time, make a note of it, 10.30 
on Sky Sports 1. And we can play the countdown to Judgment Night on Saturday at 8.30am on Sky Sports 1. There are replays throughout the day. For all the big fight news, go to our website. That's www.skysports.com forward slash boxing. The big question, can Khan conquer again after his 54-second nightmare? Come back and I'm gonna come back stronger.